Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a super exciting video. I'm going to a place that I didn't even know existed till about two weeks ago. I have my friend to shout out, Heiko from the South Florida Fishing Channel. He posted an Insta story from this beautiful place that I didn't even know existed. And he says it's right here in between Key Largo and Plantation Key somewhat. And that's the only hint I'm gonna give you guys. Please do not jump into the comments asking me where are the coordinates of this place because I swore to secrecy. I wasn't going to tell anybody where it was. I'm going to do a video on it, but I'm not going to tell everybody how to get there because I promised him I wouldn't. He confirmed to me after two days of going on Google Maps and searching and searching and searching and searching, looking up on YouTube for videos of this place, I found one maybe. And now this video you guys are gonna see is gonna be the second video ever there. So, like I said, I think I know where it's at after doing all the research that I've done, but I'm not 100% sure. The only way to find out is actually getting out there and looking for the place myself of where I kind of pinpointed where I think there's a chance that it might be at. So, can't wait to go. I'm riding solo today. As you guys see, Bo is up on the lift. I'm gonna go ahead, bring it down into the water, heat up the engines, get a couple of drinks for myself, and we'll be on our way. So here we go, guys. I cannot wait. Alrighty, guys, we are officially in the water. Engines are nice and warm, purring like cats. The day is beautiful today, a little bit windy, about 12 to 13 miles an hour, but it's going to get a lot worse by the end of the day, so I'm trying to get out there as soon as possible to avoid that high wind that says it's going to start around 2 o'clock. So let's go ahead and untie and get today's day started. Alright, for those of you guys that are not on my Facebook page, I do want to tell you guys that I'm planning a big trip to go to Bivany June 3rd next month. So anybody is interested in joining me on that trip, some of you guys, it's the first time that you'll be going to Bivany and the best way to go is with other boaters. So if anything were to happen, you're not alone and you have other people that can back you up. So if anybody's interested in that, in the description I have tagged the link to the Facebook group. You guys just click on that, put join group, and from there we can communicate and I can post updates. Also at the end of this month for Memorial Day weekend, I am going to the Isla Morada Sandbar, which you guys know is the biggest sandbar party to kick off the summer. And I'm excited for that. And yeah guys, so make sure you guys also subscribe, hit the like button, share button, all that good stuff. So here we go, we're about to get out coming by the biggest yacht in the neighborhood. Everything good is what this boat is called. And I don't blame you, man. You got a boat like this, everything better be good. All right, guys, we made it at the channel and it looks very smooth today, actually, because we do got the wind coming from the west side. So we got land that's blocking the air. So it is not too bad of a day. I thought it was going to be a little bit more choppy, but this is great because we are going to go a little bit offshore today. Not too far, but we are. So as soon as we get past this channel right here, I'm going to go ahead and take off for you guys. And we are on our way. It should be about maybe a 20, 25 minute ride over to this spot. So here we go. I'm keep giving you guys too many hints, man. Too many hints.
as we get a little bit more offshore you guys can see the waves starting to get a little bit better with zero to one not better i mean worse <laughs> zero to one now they're like about maybe two to three somewhat i know the video doesn't do it justice but bouncing out here guys this beautiful water here guys beautiful water the closer we get the more rough it is I feel like I'm riding a, a bull yeah. I had to slow down a little bit Woo. I don't know if the stabilizer is going to let y'all see it or not, but it's a little sporty out here. But it's going to be worth it, guys. Wait until you see this place. All right, guys, we have made it. And as you guys see, nobody is here. Nobody at all. Because almost nobody knows about this place. I've asked a bunch of people about this place and nobody could seem to know nor where it's at, nor what it is, nor anything about this place. So I again want to thank Heiko for posting that Insta story and putting me on a two-day binge of Google Maps and all this other good stuff trying to figure out where the hell this place is at. As you guys see, this is a little sand island, a little sandbar in the middle of nowhere, guys. There is nothing around. Nowhere. Offshore. Let's see. Let's start the location around real quick, guys, and see what's the best place to anchor up. Those are rocks, so I don't want to get too close either. You can't just drive up your boat there. It's not a sandbar. But let me scout the area real quick. See what's going to be the best place, see which way the wind's going to take me, all that good stuff, and I'll bring you guys back as soon as I'm anchored up. Five minutes later. Alrighty guys, I'm officially anchored up. And this is the place, guys. Absolutely beautiful. A sandbar here. It's a mix of rocks and sand. It's not all sand, but my God, this place is in the middle of nowhere. If you guys can see, nothing behind. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to get the drone up and get some beautiful footage of this place. And not only that, jump in and get over there too. Because, my God, this place is freaking awesome. Again, please do not ask me how to get here. I swore to secrecy. I cannot tell you. I am sorry. All right? I am sorry. But you can try to do what I did and come out here and look for yourself. It's not that hard. I mean, it did take me two days, but it's really not that hard. And I feel a sense of accomplishment now that I'm here and that I found it. I'm going to get the drone up for you guys now. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a dive over there and check it out in person. Stay tuned.
hope you guys enjoyed those drone views i mean the videos guys doesn't really do this place justice but another thing about this place that makes it even more special is listen to the sound guys i'm gonna just shut up for a second and just listen You guys hear the wave hitting the rocks like a beach that right there guys I know people that pay money to have applications that play these sounds while they sleep okay, this is awesome guys I'm gonna go ahead and take off my shoes and stuff and I'm gonna take a quick dive in there so I can show you guys a view from the islands here we go I'm gonna check the anchor one more time before I jump off the boat. There we go, guys. Never leave the anchor on your engine. That only does it strain it, but it'll start slipping out little by little. So I always give it a nice tie. That's what this cleat here is for. But just wanna make sure that it's nice and tight because last thing I wanna do is be on that island and my boat drifts back and hit these rocks. So it looks like that's secured. I'm gonna go ahead. Open this door right here, and we are in the water, guys. Here we go. I had to put my shoes back on because I remember there's rocks there. So if you do want to come here, I do recommend you to bring your shoes. I am a little bit nervous about jumping in this water. I mean, shouldn't be nervous. It's literally right there. But I'm the only one out here, guys. So it is a little bit of an eerie feeling. But enough of all that. Y'all don't want to hear that bullshit. Y'all want to see me jump in the water. So I touched it. It's kind of cold. A little bit, a little so, but all right, guys, let me just shut the hell up, stop procrastinating, and jump in. Here we go. One, two, three. Damn, the boat looks good from here. Alrighty, guys. So, yeah, like I said, it's a mixture of sand and rocks. Well, really, I should say coral. It's cool. Somebody stacked up some rocks. Oh my god, this place is awesome, guys. Guys, I don't think this video is going to do this place justice. It is that beautiful, guys. I am amazed. I feel like I'm in, I don't know, the Bahamas, Mexico, one of these exotic places. And this place is literally right here in my backyard. I had no idea it even existed until two weeks ago. That is crazy, guys. It makes me think and wonder what other places are out there that I don't know about. We are in low tide. So I suspect that on high tide, the water makes it a little bit higher, maybe up to this little island right here. So all of this will probably be underwater. So you see the water's down here. This little wall right here, that little wall means that the water usually breaks all the way up here. So. All this will be underwater you guys cannot come up here like a regular sandbar and just you know bring your boat onto here because you will mess it up with all these coral rocks here so i'm gonna have to anchor like i did a couple feet away and make a swim for it i'm gonna show you guys the ledge right here so you guys could get a look at the underwater how it looks Maybe somebody else does know about this place. Yeah, one more guy is getting in here. I 
I just don't know how he's gonna do it because right there where he's coming in by, it's very shallow, very rocky. But got some company now, guys. I'm not alone anymore. Guys, this is right here. This paradise. I'm sitting here at the edge of the little island. Watching the boat. Have the waves crash on me. It's so peaceful and relaxing. This is a place where you come, forget about your problems, about all your issues, and just disconnect. Now this is the part I've been dreading, but gotta swim back to the boat. Alright, gotta walk as much as I can. Whoa. Before I start swimming. See any shadows in the water? Nope. Nope. Alright, I'm about way high. Alright guys. Here we go. as you saw I brought the other camera and I swam up on there and I'm telling you guys this video does not do this place justice like I said you look out in the horizon you feel like you're somewhere else I'm gonna hang out for a little bit here I gotta make a quick business call and then after that we're gonna head to go eat at my favorite place to eat in Key Largo you guys are not gonna want to miss it so stay tuned all right guys, so since it was a little rough out here and it's bouncing, I want to show you guys real quick the Sea Keeper, you see? Because if I try to show you on the video, it's not going to do it justice, guys. Because I got the stabilizer on the video. But check this out, watch. I want to see, I'm going to show you when it gets to six, you see seven, six percent, six percent, seven cent. You press this button. And that's it. No more juking around, nice and flat. Now I don't get thrown around. Now I'm not like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Now watch, I'm gonna turn it off. Now it's off. Check it out, Let's see if it, if I can catch it on the video. Now it's starting to jiggle a little bit. There you go, you see that? I'm trying to keep as straight as possible. Now, let's go ahead and turn it on. Now let's stand here and see if we see, look at this big wave coming here. Oh, no jiggle whatsoever, guys. Of course, it's always gonna still go front to back, but no side to side. Yeah. I never really turn it on, only when I go fishing, but on a day like today, if you have it, why not use it, you know? So, I'm out here, I'm gonna be out here for a little bit longer. Then, we're gonna go get some lunch at my favorite place, guys. Stay tuned, here we go. All right, guys, we're gonna head out of here. I picked up anchor, doing one last little drive-by. As you guys see, the tide is starting to come up. So, less of the island is gonna be exposed out of the water. I was the whole day here and there's the only other people I saw here on that boat and they happen to be on a charter. So he's a local, he's got to know this place. They come from Miami. But yeah guys, now I'm going to go ahead and head inshore and I'm going to take you guys to Key Largo Fisheries, one of my favorite places to eat in all of Key Largo. So here we go guys. 
Alrighty guys, I'm going to end today's video here since it's getting a little bit long, but on the next episode, I'm going to show you guys my favorite restaurant, which is the Key Largo Fisheries, and I'm also going to show you the rough weather I got into on the way back in. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys on the next video.